everyone and welcome um so we're just gonna get straight into the video um so we've been to a few different types of schools um we should we start with our first one which was mm -hmm. a steiner school it wasn't a small school it was um quite a big one it was it was between it was like both a mainstream school and a steiner school yeah so like on the same school ground it was like one side of the school was mainstream and the other side was steiner we were in the steiner part um so with steiner there's good and bad things about it the weird um i'm gonna start with the weird thing first is they um i can't be it was a few years ago but at the start when you first start school they kind of teach you the story in christmas times they teach you the story of like mother mary and jesus but then they also teach you about fairies and very fairy tale pagan stuff so it's kind of weird like you can't mix those two things together you can't mix the bible and paganism together it's really weird um but the good thing i guess about it is it's more of a community they teach you how to clean they teach you how to cook well depending on the status well if you go to a good one they will teach you how to clean and cook they teach you how to be like well mannered and all that stuff do you care for me yeah, well, that one, that one did like that. So we've been to two Steiner schools. Um, the first school we've ever went to was a Steiner school. The second school we went to was a small public school. We're going to talk about that one next. Do you want to talk about the Steiner school before we move on to that? Which one? School? You're not listening. <laughs> okay, so I was just talking about the Steiner school, the first Steiner school we went to. Do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, it was pretty good. I don't really have any complaints about it. The only thing I remember learning is singing songs when you pack up playtime. Yeah, there's a lot of that kind of stuff, yeah. Mm. Okay, moving on. So um, the next, we're gonna go in order by the schools we've been to. Mm -hmm. Um, After that, no, actually, sorry, it wasn't um, the small public school after that. We did homeschool after that, after the start, first high school. Uh, we did that for, I think, two years, do you think? Yeah. Um. When since it was our first time doing um, homeschool and like we kind of it made it house yeah it was a mess it was, it was our first time doing it we we're learning um we we made it like school um oh, well my mum made it like school she like did it how school would do like you have specific times for everything you like and you have like you wake up at a specific time you eat do you have school work at a specific time you know like a proper school would do. But the thing is, home isn't like school, so you can't make it like school. You like, you have to do like what works for your family, and like, like just go with the flow of how you do things. Whether you like to do it in a, like whenever you have the time for it, it works. You don't have to do it in a classroom setting. You could like be cooking, I don't know, breakfast while, like the kids are at the island doing homework, and you're helping them at the same time. I guess whatever works for you. You don't have to do it in a school um like setting. I reckon it's better when you don't do it in a school-like setting because then it doesn't feel like school because it isn't school. Yeah, first time doing homeschool wasn't any wasn't wasn't the best because like as we were learning we didn't know how how it, you can't just make it like school. We've done homeschool I think two times. So the first time when we were younger, when we were younger we were like I was in I think grade three. Um, and he would probably be in, what, one, two? Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, T, do you have anything to add with this? I think uh, I, have to, yeah. I have to, I'd have to take this away from her. She's getting distracted. T, you need to be in this video, okay, not in so the book. So, what am I talking about? T, <laughs> we're talking about? about what we like about homeschooling. Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you like about I hate it. it. I mean, I love what? it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was I weird. mean, you get to be at home and you always turn like eight hours a day that's just a lot anything else you like about it um i guess that when you're done you can relax and you don't have to drop all the way home okay yeah. anything you don't like about it um well you see my teacher doesn't really look at my work to see if i did it right or not and she doesn't print things i want to do um okay so first of all our printer broke yesterday so i can't we got another printer, but the printing ink for this printer, it's a Canon, is very expensive. I would not recommend a Canon printer. I would recommend an Epson printer, Tisha. No, I just want to hold it. 
Anyway, so I can't print any um, homework okay. for Tisha. Um, she only has what I've already printed her, which I will actually show you at the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, stay to the end of this video. Anyway, um, I can't actually think of anything um, I like and dislike about homeschool. Oh, actually, no, I can. I like the freedom. I like how you can do what you want. But this also depends on your parents, guys. So if you're a, like a student, a homeschooled student that's watching this, like our routine isn't your routine. So like you can't do specifically what we do because that might not work for your parent for you and your parents might not want to do that. Like it's really up to your parents. Um, how your routine and everything's gonna go. <laughs> Sorry, I should have uh, done more bullet points on what I need to talk about. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's what I really like about homeschooling. So things I don't like about it. Um, yeah, things I don't like about it is you won't have a lot of friends. So obviously, depending on where you live, it's really obviously it's also up to your parents. If your parents like want to have you in homeschool groups or like put you in a scouts or summer, um, I wish summer that. Um, oh, camp thing. Yeah, me too would have loved that because right now we don't have any friends because we're not in any homeschool group or like any type of activity or sports or anything like that. If parents are watching this, I would recommend you get your kid into some sort of sports that they like, if they like sports. Don't or, try and get them into something they're not into, they won't do it. Yeah, like that's just an absolute waste of time and money for you and the child, so don't even like bother. Yeah, they're <laughs> not going to do it in their life. So yeah, I would recommend letting them do things they want to do unless it's very... Not good for them. Yeah, unless it's not good for them. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, so like, um, so you could get them to like a art club thing. I, I think there's such thing that they probably is this day and age. Get them in scouts if they like that. You know, nature is good. You don't want them in, on the internet all the time. Or um, get them into like maybe cooking. You can teach them how to cook or anything like Like life skills, I would highly recommend. You, that's where you need them life obviously that's why they're called real life skills skills that's what it's just another thing i like about home school you get to actually learn real life skills unlike school depending on obviously the type of school you go to if you go to like a mainstream school that i they're not going to teach you life skills in a steiner they teach you more life skills but not obviously all the life skills you need um yeah so Did really you, know you just said life skills oh i'm so sorry life skills <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll move on from homeschooling now. So the third school we went to, um, this was when I was in grade five and Tisha was in grade three, um, was a small public school. Now, Ari, now Ari think... It was very small. They had a big apple at the front. Yeah. Anyway, um, I, I think if you're going to do a public school, a small school is better than a big school because, like, everyone knows each other and it's more like a big community in my opinion I just like it better um than a um big school um because the first school we went to was more of a big school I would say would you agree to Italy hmm? in the video okay sorry uh, what is it we're talking about a third school yeah. do you remember what oh yeah, yeah I remember that one my favorite part about it was at um recess the big kids would give like sell like candy and stuff like that and it would be so good and I would literally buy almost everything because we had all my oh, yeah. nice kids yeah. and I was happy about that. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, this, another thing I like about um, school is when you're in grade six, well, this is for here in Australia. I'm not sure about American or other countries. But here in uh, um, Australia, in year six, you get to pick, um, you get to like try and get roles and you have to make a speech in front of the school and then the school votes who gets rules like roles like um this um, this is in some schools by the way in australia not all of them yeah because we didn't do that you didn't do that in your school no oh wow that sucks we just were got to put our hand up for what we wanted to be in time oh. captain or captain wow my w m when i was in grade six it was a lot more tough i had to um make a speech about specific roles i want to do we had different houses in our sports group so we had i think red green blue and i think maybe yellow i don't know i was going for captain of the red sports um house thing i forgot what they're called there and another thing i forgot what it's called but it's where it's really fun where you get to do activities so you get to come up with ideas for like activities you do you know how like you have um those days where you maybe dress up in a specific color 
or a best if or like maybe just in like normal clothes or you walk to school or you um maybe there's like a little market thing they do when you sell the older kids sell food and the little more little younger kids buy it so like that, that like so in our school that's that's what um but you weren't there for it weren't you yeah i went there that's i shame. was there and it was so good there was so much food and stuff it was really fun. yeah anyway so that's why i applied for that but that was the most funnest job um role i could have done because it was hosted underneath the big um Basketball court? Yeah, basketball court, the one I take the shop. Oh, okay, I imagine it's been on the oval. It was really really good. No, yeah. the oval was fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So that that was my favorite um role to do. I I'm sorry, I forgot what it's called, but like it's just where you come up with ideas and you get to do them with. But it's not just one person that's doing it. It's like the like a whole group. There's not a specific number of people that can be in it. I think it's the whole class that if they want to be in it, they can. So that was my favorite role. So the next school after that was another Stein school. Now this Stein school was crap. Yeah, I what? wish I wish I could say what school it was, because this Steiner school is one that people in the Stein industry want to go to the school, but it's absolute rip off. Oh my god. Yeah, like it's so, so expensive. The way that their parents got into debt by it was just crazy. It was just so expensive, and like the playgrounds there were dangerous. Like oh. it was like it was like all wood playgrounds. Twenty years ago, those playgrounds would have looked awesome and so fun, but now they're a danger hazard. Like the yeah. principal gets so much money, and he doesn't do anything. Yeah, like he he's doesn't. Like in the teams. He doesn't. He doesn't fix anything. He doesn't like make the place better. Yeah, he's very corrupt, that one. But my teacher was very good. I loved my teacher. She was very nice. And she actually, like, helped me learn, like... Because me and Tia were a bit lower in our level. Um, We weren't up, like, with our reading and writing. We weren't up with everyone else. So that teacher, she um, always, in the mornings, when we did our spelling, she always sit down and with me and help me, which is very good. And at the end of um, school, she would also do a little session with me to help with reading and writing. Some teachers are um, really good like this, some aren't. Like mine? Yeah, with the small public school, my teacher, even though she's really nice and stuff, every time I'd put my hand up to ask for something, for help or anything, or ask her to teach me how to do something or help me with something, instead of helping me, she would do my work. I don't understand how that makes any sense. It really doesn't. I asked her to help me, but she does my work. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. I don't know what made her think that she could do my work. That's why I never learned really anything at that school. Because she never helped me. She just did my work for me. All the stuff that we learned in my classroom was absolutely sh**. You just learned about fairy tales and stuff like that. Which school are you talking about? Oh, the one in Stice School. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was kind of weird. Yeah, that's true. You don't need any of that. And then not we would just skills. do like plays for the little kids. Like, learn a whole roles and do them. And oh my god, that was absolutely Um, yeah, and another weird thing, I'm not sure if this is with all Steiner schools, but with this specific Steiner school we went to, you don't do science until you're in high school, so until you're in year seven. So you don't do um, science for six years, and then when you're in year seven, you do it. That's really weird. I don't understand that. don't understand why you can't do um, science the whole time you're there. And another thing is, um, that school... They were, another good thing they were good about is you get your one teacher for the whole year. Well, that's what they said. But then when I was there, my friend, I was talking to my friend about it, and she said, "Oh, you only get your one teacher until you're in year um, seven, and then after once you've done all primary school, I mean, so um, when and then once you're in high school, you get a different teacher. But they were saying you get a teacher the whole time you're there, but that just wasn't true." Which is a shame because I would not have had my lovely teacher. Oh, and we also, every room, every classroom had kitchens in them, but we never used them to cook in, with the, there. We never used them at once. Did you ever cook when you were there? Yeah, they had these awesome kitchens. We just kitchens. ate cheese. The teacher would cut up cheese after a story. What? It was good cheese, but like, come on. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Um, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we have all these kitchens and cool things, but we never did anything with them. And another thing... There was awesome school camp. It was a camp where you got to go and ride horses um, on your camp. So where you go to camp, you ride horses to the camp and then back to um, the cars to drive you home. 
Yeah, so that was really cool. It was it would have been really expensive because COVID happened. That um, it was um cancelled, but they should have rescheduled it. They just said, um, we'll never like since we missed it, we'll never be able to do it again. They should have just rescheduled it for the end, like when COVID was over, because they could have still done that. We still could have gone on that trip, but they just cancelled. We never would have gone on there, which is a shame because that oh, I just hate that principle. Anyway. To um yeah so that yeah, i wish i could say that um science name science school's name because it's really corrupt and wait what is it sir i i actually don't remember but <laughs> <laughs> well you can't say anything you don't know. i would look it up though <laughs> yeah but like in the stone um industry um if you're in that pacific state that's the science school everyone wants to go to <laughs> but i would not write it's it's trash yeah it's not worth it yeah anyway um so let me get I need to see. Okay, what was that? The next school. The uh, last oh, yeah. school. Yeah, and then after that, were we homeschooled in between? I don't think so. No, I think we just took a break and just we were doing something that we were doing. I, I don't remember. I don't think we're doing homeschool then. Anyway, um, and then after that, the Steiner. We are. Um, no, we moved after that. Yeah, we moved, and T- I was in um high school and Tish was in year six in primary school. Um, no, you five. Oh, you five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah five. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Stupid. Anyway, so um, since he wants me to start with everything, I'll start. So I went to a Christian private school. I think. Oh, I think it was private school. I thought it was Catholic. Oh yeah, Catholic. Yeah. So uh, I went to a Catholic high school, Catholic pri- private high school. Now this is a, probably the same with all religious schools um but mine did not have a lot of religious people at all it was mainly the kids after you finished all the like the little schools around there you would go there even if yeah. you were or weren't because it was just like a good school to learn i guess yeah um Everyone. and the main reason because there was two high schools in that area there was the christian you no know, catholic sorry high school and then a mainstream school but the reason a lot of the atheists didn't go to the actual public school and they went to the um, Catholic school instead was because the public school was quite bad. Like, there was a lot yeah, of fights and there just else. not a lot of good kids there. So that's why the majority went to the Catholic, um, yeah, Catholic school. Yeah, I, I don't think I knew anyone that was actually um, Catholic when I was there. Um, it was probably just really teachers. Teachers? Like, like I mean, I'm sure there would have been Maybe people. some, like, Christian kids or something. Catholic kids. Yeah, Catholic well. Christian. I'm not sure really the difference between Catholic and Christian. I do. What's the difference? Catholics are Germans and Christians are Christians, Americans. Uh, you can no, be Christian actually, in anything and you can be Catholic in anything, but weren't the um um Germans? No, Christians didn't come from Okay, I just America. Okay, they, shut they came from Israel. Oh, uh, here we go. Another like the, I'm pretty sure. Because Christianity started after um, Jesus died, right? Or was he? I don't know when it specifically started. But it was in that timeline. It wasn't in America. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Just speak of speech. Anyway. Yeah, so I went school. to a small school. Okay. <laughs> Spit it out. I am. Just trying to think about it. Anyway. I went to a small school. I was in grade five. It was like a really good school. Yeah. Everyone was really nice. Some people were a bit weird. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, it was really good. Um, likes, dislikes. Everything I liked about it was really good. There was like a, events every so often that you would sports events. I, I don't like sports one. events. I won. My team won in every single round that we played in. <laughs> we basically won. There was no reward. It was just for fun, and um, it was really fun because I picked every sport that my par- my um, friends went to because I'm not going alone with some random kids. Don't that I don't even know how to play this sport. But uh, I, what was the last sport I played? Netball. Netball. Netball was my favourite sport because uh, we had a, a tall girl in my group and she was the goal person. So she would get it every time because she would just like just kind of put the ball in the hoop. <laughs> she didn't yeah. even have to try. She didn't have to try. That was one of the easier parts about it. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Okay. So and, jeez, okay, I haven't even good. finished. Back okay. on. I thought you finished. And um and then I went to grade six there and um, grade six was pretty good, a lot of people left. But we were gonna go on a school camp, but it got cancelled. That was so sad because of Corona. Yeah. It's quite, oh, but um when I was in the 
high school, I did get to go on my camp. It, it was right. It was good. There were some good things about it, and there was yeah, we did a lot of fun stuff. Anyway, moving on. So what's after that? Um, oh yeah, and in, in that um, in the small. No, I went to camp in the uh, other mainstream school. You did? I can't remember. Yeah, that camp was really good. It was, like, so fun. I didn't spend the night there, but we did a lot of activities, and the food was really good. Oh, I remember that place now. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah it well. was just down the road. Yeah, I actually took it. It was down the road from the school, and it was actually not that far away. I thought we would have to drive some far away. To it was probably, like, 10 minutes away. It was, like, 15 minutes away. <laughs> yeah. And once we got in the bus, I was like, okay, ready for a long car trip. 15 minutes later, we're there. And I'm like, okay, um... Nice. I didn't even know that place was there. Yeah, because I would have to drive all the way back to sleep at home. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't sleep there. Um, Mum didn't want me to sleep there, and I didn't really want to sleep there too, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we did homeschool again, after that, right? Yeah, we did. Um. Yeah, but we already talked about homeschool, so I don't think we have to really get into that. Um. Yeah. We've. Mo- um. Yeah. But all, in between all of those schools, we were moving. We didn't specifically say every time yeah, we, we moved, we but we've went, moved we've a lot. We've been in places. We've traveled everywhere. Yeah. We've almost been to every state in Australia. So thanks for watching the video. And I'll, I'll put a video on the screen, so um, watch that if you want to. And we'll see you on the next one. No. What? Remember, God is watching you. <laughs> From a that distance. Should be, that should be the outro. And yeah. remember... God is watching you from a distance.